Hello, and for anyone who is out there, welcome to the Pokesome, where today we'll be opening this. The latest Japanese set, Charisma of the Wrecked Sky, aka Celestial Storm. Now, I've seen a few openings and there's been a bit of confusion about what people have been calling it in the title, but I will be calling it by its Japanese name, and in brackets we will have Celestial Storm, so people don't get confused. Right, so this is the second Japanese opening on this channel and I really enjoyed it so I thought I'd do a second one with the latest set. It also didn't hurt that it was my most viewed video so I kind of had to do it didn't I? So in terms of the set list, personally I think Champions Road looks a little bit better. Um, however, there is one particular Pokemon that I really want and when it comes into English print I will be very keen to try it. This guy right here. Rayquaza. Also kind of curious to see what this stack of bricks, this um the Jenga Pokemon will bring to us. Stack Attacker. Um he's an ultra beast. I didn't quite get that far in the game, so I don't really know, but we will see what happens there. So before I get into the opening, I got this is my free gift from Plaza Japan. I quite like the free gifts. Um especially this one. It's a high dragon. Very awesome card, looks amazing, and we also got this little guy too, but of course that is the highlight, looks amazing, looks like some kind of special promo as well, so that's even better. Alright, so let's put those to the side, and without further ado, let's get in to this box, and it's got the set lists, oh, my bad, there it's got those, looks very good, I'm flipping packs left, right, and centre, like pancakes. A few moments later. Let's get into these packs. Right, so. Going to use these big bad boys today. And let's snip our way through some packs. Right, so. We'll start from. Nope. We'll start from this side first. Let's go. See what we get. Like I said, I'm still not too aware of any card trick. For the Japanese set. So they're just kind of going to come out. We've got Sceptile there, Torchic. Oh, we've got a Deoxys there, very cool. There's three of these in this set. So I'm looking to pull all of them, ideally, because Deoxys is cool. All right, so second pack, let's go, see what we get. Snip, 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 snip. Okay. Okay, so we've got Wildred there. Mudkip. Oh, and Rayquaza right off the bat. This is the guy we wanted. We're looking for him in full art and rainbow rare form also. But what a great, great start to get the Rayquaza GX. And behind him, we got the little piggy, which is fine by me. But Rayquaza is the man. We've got our man. Let's put him there to, for everyone to see. Great pull, great pull, right off the back. Back, right off the bat is the saying, I believe. Oh, I snipped it wrong. Bear with me, peeps. Right, okay, so two packs in. We've got the Rayquaza. Let's see. Ooh, that's really nice art on the Batang. I like that. Let's see if we can get anything else. A DCE, not bad. But unfortunately, I will not be able to use it as it is a Japanese. All right. Okay, got shell gone there. Sedot. <laughs> I love disc. Oh, we got the Latios Prism Star. Also, very nice card. A dragon type prism. Awesome card. Um, in terms of playability, there's that thing there too. In terms of playability, I believe the Latias has more potential, but this is still a cool card to have. Uh, Champion Road, which I opened. This is the only other Japanese set I opened. I did not. There were no prisms in the set, so it is nice to see prisms are back, as it's like an additional thing to pull. Right, but let's get some more good stuff. Hopefully, more Rayquazas. Yellow Ocarina. Oh, these belt. The art on these things are looking really cool to me. Really cool. Oh, and we have a Stack Attacker GX Full Art. This thing looks really nice. I love steel type full arts. Funnily enough, in Champion Road, I got the uh, Caesar full art, so it's very interesting. Steel type full arts are the ones for me. Can't read the weakness, but I assume as it's a Jenga Pokemon, its weakness would be uh, 
children from ages 8 to 10 at Christmas time. Uh, but anyway, great card. Oh, and we've got the Lily, which has been reprinted, which is always nice to see. But one, two cards, which I said right at the beginning that I was looking for. One in full art form. Great stuff. This is looking like a very, very good box so far. Check out my Champion Road opening, because I'm not entirely sure what my pulls were like, because I've seen one or two videos of this, um, not this, Japanese openings in general, but I'm not too sure what the average successful box is. Box? Box. Oh, we got something shiny. And it is a hollow trainer. Forgive me for not remembering who he is off that. Is it Steven? But I love this. I love hollow trainers. They're an excellent idea. I'm glad Forbidden Light. Forbidden? I am pronouncing things bad all over the place today. I'm sorry about that. Forbidden Light. I'm so glad the Anther got a hollow. I hope to see more hollow trainers. Oh my god, what is going on today? More hollow trainers in the future. But we are doing very well. Very well. But yeah. So please let me know how I did and what kind of box this is at the end. Same with my champion road opening. Because I want to do more of these and I need to know. Oh, we got the uh, combustion. How I'm doing. So I keep kind of cutting myself off. Oh, we've got some kind of medicine there. Oh, handy. And oh, we got that. What the Shuppet Evolution. Always forget his name, this one. But it is a cool Pokemon. He had a GX in Champion Road, but I did not pull it. All right. Okay, so we're doing very well, still. Not many hollows, I know I've got the trainer hollow, but no Pokemon hollows as of yet, so we're due one, surely. Right, let's go. Rare candy. And we got the Regirock regular rare, which is cool. Very cool. Love the Japanese artwork, love the shiny things, particularly the hollows and the Japanese openings. Ah, oh, what, what is... I might as well not bother with the scissors, eh? Oh, man. What have I done? I have effed it. Alright. Okay, love disc. Torchic. Oh, we've got the Stack Attacker. Regular GX is well. That is cool. So, two Stack Attackers. It's Stack Attacker City here today, which is good because it's a Pokemon I don't know anything about. Um, besides the fact that I'm making fun of it, it does look very powerful, so that is cool. Um, don't really know, I've not really looked at what the attacks do as of yet. Um, if you do want me to ever do some kind of analysis on the cards, let me know, uh, and I might do that sometime in the future. But at the moment, I'm just opening stuff and looking at the art and enjoying it. Right, so, what can we get from this pack? Oh, Registeel. There, probably my favourite of the Reggies, that guy. Um, pretty cool dude. Latin I can pronounce that one, unlike his uh, normal typed counterpart. That's always helpful. We're looking for Blaziken as well. Oh, nice, nice Salamence Hollow. Very cool. Very cool on the Acro bike, but Salamence Hollow, very nice card. Very, very cool. Indeed, lots of dragon type stuff coming out recently. I'm glad about that. Very glad. Dragon types, I've not seen too many relevant cards of them in the past, but hopefully, especially that guy there, that will come back to prominence. But yeah, we're looking for Blaziken as well. Um, the card probably isn't the best card in the history of fire type cards, but Blaziken is awesome. The first fire fighting badass around so we need him for a collection right so we've got the cartana ultra beast regular card that is very cool um only 60 hp that's very surprising but hopefully with the fact that it's such a little well a little small amount of hp card it ends up being quite powerful right so a couple more packs left on this side but i say we're doing very well i think this time in our Champion Road opening, we had a lot of hollows and barely any GX. I think we might have just had one, but loads of hollows. So, we're doing much better in terms of GXs this time. Oh, and I think we've got a hollow coming. Oh, Sceptile. Sceptile, my favourite starter of the Hone region. Shame he's not got a GX for this, but I'm still glad that he's at least got a hollow. And we've got a second Deoxys, which is also very cool. I'm happy with both 
of lows. Right. Okay, so two more packs left of this side. What can we get? Right. Snip, 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 snip. Poke some used cut. I'm so glad the Sun and Moon games got rid of HMs. Is that just me? Right. Bad, um, in another art, which is very nice. Another C dot there. Ooh, that looks spooky. That's cool. And yeah, nothing in that pack. And the last pack this side. Let's go see what we get. Right. Come on. Let's get something Q. Ah, oh, nice. This is a very, very nice looking hollow. Very, very cute as well. Oh, and is that fisherman back? Huh, he's looking cool too. But yeah, this is a very, very nice card. Very cool. I'm trying to remember the name. Is it Purloin? I don't remember. But um, very cool card. Um, I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. So I will definitely put whatever the name was in the description above when I go to edit. But that was the first half. Bring on the second half. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so for part two of the opening, well, that actually means four, but whatever, part two, let's get these open and see what we get. Let's see if a little Blaziken is hiding in the mist. So, let's go, that cool Matang again. Oh, and is that a Celestelia Hollow, Ultra Beast Hollow, that is very, very nice. Oh, and another Deoxys, I think we got that one. But still, a very, very awesome Celestelia Hollow. Um, love the fact that Ultra Beasts are coming in regular cards as well, like they did in Forbidden Light. Um, however, I'm even more glad that they are now in Hollow form. Um, whether or not they will be for Celestial Storm, the English print, will be another story. Alright, let's see. What else? Oh, God, sorry, Minion. Or pulse, whichever one you are. Oh, and another the uh, the flying deoxys. I think we got that one too. So there's one more deoxys we need to complete the trio of deoxys. All right. My phone just told me it was dying. Sorry about that. All right, Loudred. Oh, we've got something shiny, Mudkip, Revile, and we've got the Swampert. Hollow, very, very cool. I think I might have just got his name right, wrong. Sorry about that, but this is an awesome card again. Glad they're going to home region, but again, was kind of hoping they'd do GXs of them, but hopefully before Sun and Moon is done, we get the other two start Pokemon's GXs as we did get Blaziken. I'm kind of surprised at that, actually. I thought they'd all have been brought out together, but in GX form, that is. But, oh well. Little bag on. Little knitted love disc, very cute. Uh, piggy again. And Reg Ice, we've almost got all of them now. All the Reggie brothers. Okay. Let's keep cutting. Bail them. Ocario, the Thunder one. More medicine. And that eel looking thing, I don't even know what that is, so apologies for that. If you haven't seen my videos before, I did miss two generations. Um, well, technically three, but I'm kind of clued up on one of them. I missed Sinoa and Kalos. So forgive me if sometimes I don't remember Pokemon or don't know them. Sadot, Minin or Pulse, always get mixed up. And we have the Deoxys Hollow. Oh, cool. That completes the Deoxys trio. And by far the coolest looking one. Very cool card. Very cool. Actually looks like he's in space in that one. I assume that's where he is. But very nice nonetheless. Nonetheless. And we got the belt thingy as well. We haven't actually pulled yet a Rainbow Rare or secret rare card from these Japanese packs. So it'd be interesting to see if we can get 
one of those. All right. Okay, so nothing in this pack, but we've still got a decent amount to go. Come on. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, that's cute. A little torchic. A little draw a cutesy form. Oh, and the Alteria GX. Very cool card. Two Dragon GXs in this set. That's pretty awesome. And off memory in the past, this Pokemon had a very good EX. Am I right? Oh, a little comedian there. Um, so that is cool to see that back in GX form. I'm running out of space. Oh god, I'm sorry. Um, running out of space for these guys. But they'll be in sleeves and binders soon, so don't you worry. I don't mistreat my cards. Alright, that is glaring like a mofo. Let's put you over there. Um, okay, the dinosaur again. Uh, mine all. Ooh, the paintbrush thing. And this thing. Cool. Right. Not too many left, but we have got a decent amount, I think. Maybe we're on par with last time. Maybe, maybe slightly better because of the prism, perhaps. Alright, so. Choice band, glad that's getting a reprint. That should be a staple in any Pokemon deck going for, well, not any Pokemon deck, but you know what I mean. It should always be around um, in Pokemon TCG. Right, so, come on. We need a rainbow or a secret, really? Ooh, Metagross Hollow, I'll take that. 170 HP is quite high for our regular stage 2, but that's a good thing. Metagross is a tank in the game, so it does make a lot of sense. Alright, so we are approaching our last four packs. Let's hope we can get something cool out of them. At least another GX or maybe another Prism. Um, again, never opened anything with Prisms in. Japanese wise, I don't know what the average is for a box. I know in the English it's about three, so if the boxes are about smaller for these, then it probably. Oh, how? Well, we know what how does, but it's a nice little bit of artwork for him, making him look slightly more serious. Um, but yeah, if we know what the. If that's the average for a bigger box, then it's probably just one sounds about right. If you let me know, please. Um, Okay, three packs left to go. We see something shiny. And it is a Groudon Hollow. How cool is that? Just want to see what that was quickly. Very awesome card. Very cool. I'm happy to see these guys back. Again, would be nice to have some GXs or EXs, but sometimes a nice regular card of Pokemon is just as good, if not better in some cases. Very cool though. I haven't got as, anywhere near as many hollows as last time, but that's fine. Um, that is fine by me. Okay, so is that? Hmm, is that Delmise, but a, a grass type? Very confusing. All right, so one more pack to go. Last time I opened the last pack with my hands. Let's see if it brings us any luck. I'm going to do that again. If I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Oh, God, there we go. Here we go. Last pack. Can we get something awesome? Corovile. Come on. And we got the Kai Ogre Hollow to go with Groudon. Very cool. I'm glad I got both of them. That's a very nice way to end the set with those two. Very cool. Very awesome. Two great hollows. I'm very happy with that. Right, so that's the opening complete. Let's sum up what we got. Okay, so to sum up everyone we got, we got Groudon, Kyogre, Metagross, Deoxys, Swampert, and this one is Del Catty. Had to Google that, I forgot, so sorry about that. Celestelia. Sceptile. Nothing about hollows you get, it's crazy. Salamence and Steven's Decision. So these are all the hollows. Now, for the Prism Star we got, 
Latios Prism Star. Very nice Prism Star. I'm glad we pulled one of them. And now for the GXs. So Alteria GX. Awesome card. Hope this sees some play. Kind of interesting. I've just noticed it's actually got Fairy Energy in its attack. That is very interesting, even though it's a Dragon type. Um, we got Stack Attacker Regular GX as long as... Oh, no, sorry. We've got Stack Attacker Regular GX. We've got Rayquaza. And we got the Stack Attacker for Art as well to go with his little brother there, which is cool. But I'm particularly excited about this card and what it can bring. I think its attack or its, ability, it's an ability is like discard the top three cards of your deck, very similar to an EX it's had in the past, and you attach an energy or something. Um, something cool like that. I'm very keen to see if this will see some play, play with Vika Vault. Um, that's why I'm pretty excited about this card, because I'm a big Vika Bulu fan. So for any of you players out there, um, you probably already know, but watch out for this card. I'm looking forward to it. And not to mention my free gift, which that guy, but mainly this awesome card, which I love. So thank you very much, Plaza Japan. And again, so thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these openings or if you'd prefer me to go back to an older Japanese set like the one I just did or maybe even further back like Dragon Storm. But thank you for watching. This has been the Pokeserm. Like, subscribe, and thank you for your ongoing support. Take care.